Hey guys, it's Brian with some more Bomber Beta. I'm with my brother John here, and today we're doing a serious review. This review is on the Unparalleled Sirius. This is a cool shoe that's being made by the Unparalleled brand. If you guys don't know about this brand, go ahead and check out the link in the description. You can go on their website and find out more about them. So this shoe, going through some quick technical specs, uh, it has 3.5 millimeter RS rubber, which stands for Real Supreme. This is something that Unparalleled uh, made for specifically for their shoes, so it's really cool, and it's specifically made for climbing. Uh, really good stuff, really sticky, very high quality stuff. It has a medium stiffness midsole, so you can see here there's quite a bit of flex. Um, so I would say it says it's medium stiffness. I would say it's probably closer to a soft stiffness shoe. Uh, it's a suede upper that's completely vegan. So you're, you're gonna get very little stretch out of this, out of the initial use, because it has that synthetic. Not that you won't get stretched, but you won't get a ton like you might get on some of the leather shoes. And I'm gonna let John tell you a little more about this shoe. So I've been wearing this shoe for probably about eight or nine months. Um, I previously got a pair of 510 Dragons. I got a pair of these and didn't really know too much about those shoes because it was always just like, I'm going to wear Los Sportivas, wear the Italian shoes. That was just kind of like my go-to. I wore these. I've had so many pairs of these and I got the Dragons and I was like, wow, these things are pretty cool and they're really soft. It's a big difference from pretty much any of the Vibram type of rubber that I've used. Um, they can just like bend like nothing. If you look at the the uh, the 510 Dragons, you can see that the shape is pretty similar. Um, like the toe is a very similar toe. Um, it's got the, the toe rubber on the side here. Um, they changed up these, these little holes here. Um, just kind of like there's small ones on this. Not really sure what those do, but um, that's like a small difference. The heel on the um, unparalleled though is is the real big difference I noticed between these two shoes. You can kind of tell that this sh the the dragon is just a little thinner, um, and the unparalleled is is a thick one. It's it just puts a lot more rubber onto the onto the wall. Um, but these have become my go-to weapon. Uh, and this is kind of crazy because. I've always used the Muras. I've used a handful of Scarpas over the years, and that was just like all I thought I would ever use. But now that I have these, I pretty much only go to these shoes when I'm out. Um, I've been rarely using my Muras, which, yeah, is still a shock to me. So what would you say uh, these shoes do best or better than your Muras did? So I think the softness is one of the... The key things, they fit really comfortable. Um, they just kind of mold to your foot really well. So you you put them on, you're like, oh yeah, this is this is just comfortable and and it, it just feels like you're you're more connected to the rock. Um, whereas with these, which are excess edge uh, vibram rubber, they're really stiff, um, really hard, which is great if you need to like edge really hard on something, but you can't feel the rock. Um, and it's just become a thing where now that I know that I can feel the rock, it's hard to get away from. So tell me a little more about these. Now I actually, uh, these actually used to be mine. I tried to wear them a couple times and I just am not a fan because I like shoes like this. As you can see, the instincts here, and they are just completely different than the dragons ever were. And now uh, I gave these to John a few years back, and he's just, he found these from Unparalleled, which have so many similarities. And these are an old cult classic. Like, you, if you guys have been climbing for at least five years now, you saw these on a lot of people's feet. I mean, those were a go to shoe. And then 510 redesigned them, and uh, in most people's opinion, butchered them. Um, and I think you've found the same to be Yeah, true. I, I've i never actually worn the new 510 Dragons, but I've seen them in person, and they definitely seem like a totally different shoe. Um, it's like 
you've just almost tainted the name by by you know trying to make this new shoe and it's it's completely different the mura has been around for 20 years and it's practically the same exact shoe that it was and that's you know that's what makes sense if, and with the dragon i when i got it and i started using it i kind of blew through these they're they're so soft they don't last forever um and they kind of can get painful at one point where you're like too close to the rock um so once that that came around i was like where do i go and i stumbled upon the the serious the unparalleled serious and you know it seemed like such a good shoe to move on to so um unparalleled actually has a lot of different models and if you are one of those old school 510 uh people you will really like this brand uh you can see here this one is called i believe the regulus yes this um, is the low volume regulus yes so they're making these and that one actually is uh i don't want to say ex identical but it has some of the features that the old high angle had which was another fan favorite another one that got updated and people weren't exactly thrilled with so unparalleled is really doing some really high quality work would you say the shoes are holding up really well just similarly to what the old 510 quality was yeah, I haven't had too many issues um, in terms of them holding up. I've had two pairs of the Sirius so far, and then the Regulus. Um, the I had a pair of Sirius where the laces broke, but I, you know, generally I'm tightening them down as hard as I can, and I've had it happen on my Muras. Um, so it's I think that can be a common thing. But beyond that, they're really good. But with the soft rubber, it, it is something that will go and you know you'll if, if you climb a lot then you might be going through a few of them um, which they have the other options uh, so they have the unparallel um, rh uh yes RH. RH. real R honor real honor rubber mm -hmm. which is like kind of similar to the vibram edge excess edge rubber um in the fact that it's harder a little stiffer a little, a little stiffer, stiffer rubber. so mm -hmm. The shoes from Unparalleled like that will last a bit longer. But you guys can see like how soft this shoe is. I mean, you can get it almost folded in half. Very flexible. So if it's gonna if it fits your foot, it's going to mold to your foot pretty well. And obviously, you see you have all this toe hooking rubber. If you guys like to do some hard toe hooks, um, the heels actually work pretty well for John. Um, although. They aren't quite the same as some of the more traditional style heels. Um, they're a little bit thinner and softer, but they still work pretty well. Uh, you can see like this is a shoe that a lot of you guys have seen. Uh, this is a very bulky and very hard heel. I can't even really squeeze this in, whereas this heel I can, I can get it to flex quite a bit. So it's a little bit different in that sense. If you guys are looking for a shoe to replace your old dragons that you bought 10 or 12 pairs of in anticipation of them going out of stock forever, go ahead and pick up one of these unparalleled serious shoes. They're absolutely amazing. John's been crushing in them recently. And yeah, I can't I don't think we have enough good things to say about them. Yeah, I don't think so. Yep, they're they're great lace-up shoes, nice sticky rubber, um, great, great shoe all around. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and we will catch you in the next one.